Hey guys, welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name's Thomas, and today's video, today's video is why I can't go to my favorite store anymore. Because one of my old customers is harassing me, does not like me, and won't even cash me out. So if you'd like to learn more about this little adventure, stay tuned, because we're starting right now. Hey guys, how you feeling? You feeling good physically? You feeling good mentally? That's good. Now, if you're not and you're feeling a little bit down, I recommend you watch this video because I bet you'll get a laugh out of this. Because this shit's crazy. I mean, I always have all kinds of stories as a mobile mechanic, but this one is just a little bit different, right? Usually I'll start off the story by saying, let's rewind back to whatever time. Problem is I have no recollection of what happened. But his face does look vaguely familiar, but I cannot place it anywhere. So what happened was, it's about 7, 8 o'clock at night, my wife's yelling at me, she needs some new coffee. This coffee that we bought yesterday, I guess, went bad in the last 12 hours that we had it. So she's yelling at me, hey, go down to the dollar store and get me some new coffee because a lot of the other stores don't carry it. I think it's uh, Dunkin' Donuts original, something like that. Maybe not. I don't even know. I just know the color of the bag. Anyway, so I go down to the dollar store. Not very far from me and it's on uh, Lockbourne Road if anybody knows where it's at. So when I go down there, I pull in and there's this guy out there smoking and he's the one that's working there. I can tell by his shirt. Well, when I get out of the car, I'm walking up to him. I'm like, what's up, man? And he doesn't say shit to me. I mean, he just looks at me like he wants to kill me. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, you know? Now I'm not somebody to say, hey, what are you staring at? Or anything like that. You know, I'm fucking old. I'm like, whatever, man. Maybe 20 years ago, I would have said something. But the way he was looking at me, a lot of people would have said something. But I just blew it off, went inside, went looking for my coffee. So I grab the coffee, I grab a few other things, put them in my cart, and I'm shopping around. I happen to look over, and this fucking dude is staring at me again. Now, let's get it straight. This guy isn't intimidating. He's like, I don't know, six foot, maybe 300 pounds, a blob. Like, I'm not, you know, in the best of shape, but I still got a little something going on. This guy has nothing. I mean, I've said it a thousand times. I don't like confrontation and I'll avoid it at all costs. It's not something I enjoy. I'm not somebody that looks for it. I don't want any of that. I don't want any stress in my life. Like I said, I don't handle stress well, so I'm not going to be sitting there fighting with the family dollar guy, or dollar general guy, right? I'm not going to risk anything for anyone. Just not going to happen. With that being said, he's kicking me out. I know how my wife acts if she don't have no coffee. So, you know, I got to risk it here. So I just grabbed my stuff that he didn't ring up and I threw 20 bucks at him. Boom! Here you go. Knock that $10 off that 500 I owe you. Well, he was fucking very, very pissed at this time. I just grabbed my shit and started walking out. Now, that's a mistake. You shouldn't turn your back to anyone when they're pissed off at you. That's fucking mistake number one. But for whatever reason, he didn't follow me outside. I got in the car and left. I got home, I threw the coffee at my wife. I was like, here you go. I was like, I about got in a fight over this. I explained to her what's going on. And then she's like, well, maybe you ripped them off. I said, no, I didn't rip the guy off. So here I am going back, looking through all my receipts and stuff. But I don't even have a date. I don't have anything. I just know who he is. I don't even know what kind of car it is. So, like, I'm looking for nothing, really, you know. But I was like, man, I'm not going to go down there anymore. I don't want to deal with that shit. You know what I mean? So I got punked out of that dollar store. So I can't go to that one anymore. I was like, all right. Two days later, this just happened on the past week. The last incident happened tonight, so that's why I wanted to share it. I'm out here working on a car, actually recording it for you guys. I'm going to put out another Mobile Mechanic Workday video, but this happened in between, so I was like, you know what? This is a story I got to tell. So anyway, two days later after that, I go to another Dollar General store on South High, which is a little bit away from here, right? I mean, I live in Columbus, Ohio. All we have is dollar stores. I mean, there's four different kinds. There's probably 2,000 stores. That's not an exaggeration. I mean, every block there's one. So I go to another one on South High Street. Remember, this one's on Lockbourne, a different road. So I go over there to get my stuff, and I'm going over there because I don't want to deal with this guy here. Even though I didn't do anything wrong, I just don't want to deal with this guy. First of all, you don't know what people will do, man. There's people out here getting killed over $5. So for 500 who knows what this guy will do? Even though I don't know him that, he thinks I do. Well, 490 because I didn't keep that $10 change. Anyway, so I go over there. The other dollar store, I walk in. I look over at the cashier. There's no cashier there. You know, I was just going to say hi. I get all my stuff. Wife's coffee again. You know, it's been two days, so 
that's going bad on her. Grab my stuff and I get up to the line and that motherfucker is there. Just staring at me like this. And I was like, holy fucking shit, dude. Like this guy has followed me. Like this guy knows where I'm going. Like he's stalking me or something. And I didn't even get the shit. I just pushed my cord away and I just fucking walked out. And then I had to drive home and my wife's like, where's all the stuff at? I was like, well, that guy was there. She's like, are you scared of this guy? Here she is getting me fired all up. I'm about to go fight the <laughs> general guy. She's like, you let him punk you out all that. And you didn't even get my coffee. Go back out and get it. I was like, all right, I'll go to Kroger. She's like, no, you go to that dollar store and get your shit. And I really am just trying to avoid confrontation. I mean, I'm damn near 40 years old. Like, I shouldn't be out here fighting anybody. All I'm fighting for is oxygen at this moment of my life. Like, I'm not fighting anything else. But here she is, has me all fired up. So I drive back over there, and I'm like, I'm going to go in there, get my car. I'm going to be a man. I'm getting my shit. So I go in there walking like Stone Cold fucking walks out of fucking WWE. You know? Here I walk in, turn around, my shit's still there. I go over there, grab my shit, go to check out, and it's not even them. It's some other girl standing there. And I'm like, hey, where'd that guy go? She goes, oh, he just came in for a few minutes. And I was like... He fucking followed me, bro. He knew I was coming here and just got inside. I'm like, I got a stalker. I came home, bring it in to my wife. She's like, oh, look at you. You got it. I said, yes, I did. I went in there and punked him out and got the shit. She doesn't know he went in there. <laughs> so I'm fucking back to being He-Man. So now I'm in a predicament. I can't go to my dollar stores anymore without having to deal with this guy. Now, truthfully, 100% honest, I do not know him. He looked vaguely familiar. I can confidently say that if I owed him money, he would have been paid. Or if I'd done the job wrong, I would have fixed it. But there's nothing like that. What could have happened is we fixed his water pump and thermostat and he paid us. Then the vehicle broke down later. Maybe the same problem could have been six months, nine months later, and your water pump goes out again. Well, we don't do any warranties. Usually, I only do a one-month warranty or a six-month warranty, and I don't do that all the time. Now, there's warranty on the parts. Now, common sense applies if you drive off the fucking parking lot here and it breaks down. Obviously, I'm going to fix it. I'm not going to be like, well, you drove off. But you can't come four months later saying, oh, the same problem happened and expect me to fix it for free. It doesn't work that way. But you can't warranty this work. I'm working on a 1988 Ford Escort. Like, who knows what's going to go wrong with that vehicle? I just, I'm not going to do a warranty on cars that are 30, 40 years old or whatever. But anyway, so now I can't go to these dollar stores because I don't want to fucking deal with this guy. I don't want the confrontation. I don't want him to get so fucking pissed off. He fucking shoots me or does something wild. Because like I said, you don't know what people will do. People are too crazy these days. Back when I was growing up, if you had a problem, dude, you got in a fist fight. You would fight in the alley. We had something called the strip mines. You'd go down there and fight. Or at the basketball court, you would go down there and fist fight. Whoever won, won. Like the movie Friday. You live to fight another day. You know what I mean? Up here, especially in the city, you have no idea, man. These guys can be on rock bottom, hating life, and they're going to take it out on you. So you got to control your emotions. You got to make a decision. Am I going to do something about that? Or am I just going to avoid that and I'm just going to stay away? And that's what I picked. Listen, if me and this guy fought or whatever, straight up, I would fucking beat the brakes off this dude. Because what happens if I do beat the brakes off him? I smash his jaw in. Well, now he goes home, he's embarrassed in front of his family, and he thinks I ripped him off $500. What do you think he's going to do next? Yeah. He's going to be plotting some kind of revenge. You don't want none of that, bro. If somebody's fucking disrespecting you or doing whatever, just walk away, brother. Trust me, it's harder to walk away than to fight. It takes a bigger man to walk away. And that's straight up. So now I can't even go to my dollar stores, so I'm going to have to go to Kroger or Walmart and get the same stuff. But I haven't told the wife yet, because the old wife will gaslight me up because she's still wild. She doesn't like me. If somebody pops off to her, she's going buck wild. If anybody knows Haley Floyd, you know exactly what I'm talking about. She'll talk back to anyone, right? There's been plenty of times she's called me and said, hey, you come here. Just a couple months ago, I had to walk up into a yard full of 10 dudes and confront them over her. Did not want to, 
but I did. But you gotta avoid them situations. So I'm gonna avoid this cat at all costs. So no more dollar store. That guy wins. There you go. You punked me out. I asked him. I said, when did this happen? And he's talking like four years ago. So I'm like, damn, four years ago something happened. And I'm not even sure it happened. I mean, I know I didn't rip him off. If he comes to me and shows me something, I would pay this man. But just because this fucking car broke, I'll let you fucking run me off my whole favorite store here. But I'm not gonna let you in my wallet. That's where I gotta draw the line. So I just wanted to share my little story with you. Little crazy things that happen in the mobile mechanic world. Like who would have thought you'll go to the dollar store and some dude confronts you saying you ripped him off. Now think about this. I didn't. I didn't rip him off. There's nothing I did wrong here. Could have been any mobile mechanic. Just a scary situation, you know? I've had a lot of run-ins. But that's just a little story time I wanted to fill you in, guys. Got to get back to work. Also, real quick, I want to let you know there's a couple of you guys that sent me some tools. I don't know if I can say your names. I don't know if you wanted me to or not. Because some people want to help and not have anybody know about it. So I'm not going to say who sent me this stuff, but you guys know who you are. So thank you so very much. You guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It would mean a lot to me. But you don't have to. I still love you. And like we always say... Simplify till next time.